They're a never-ending stream of articles and videos about how to fix your hangover. But how come they keep coming out and there's no cure? Well, here's what we experimented with and found out. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another kind of health vlog. And this is like a human guinea pig experiment that I want to share with everyone. It's regarding hangovers. Now, disclaimer here, this isn't medical advice, this is what I did and you're free to do whatever you want. Just uh, consult your doctor or whatever before you do anything or take any supplements like we're about to recommend or that we have taken. We're not recommending anything. I, I, I hate legal damn disclaimers because no one understands that you, like no one's forcing you to put things in your mouth. But anyway, so it's, it's regarding the whole big hangover thing. Everybody's always talking about hangovers. Oh, these, try these 10 tips for a hangover. Do this and do that. Um, and one of the big uh, uh, age old uh, remedies or suggestions is uh, water. Drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water. And we've tried that in the past and it never really um, worked for us. Uh, I guess maybe it made the hangover a little bit better, but it never really got rid of the hangover altogether. And of course, all of this is individual and um, independent of, of each other because you know, some people drink, it depends on what you drink and what you eat and how much you weigh and uh, what kind of things you drink, beer, wine, hard liquor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, let me try and get to the point here. Um, everybody's hangover in the morning, or the, depending on when you wake up, is different. Some people throw up and they have pounding headaches, which I believe headaches are the result of dehydration. That's my belief. Um, and then there's uh, just general queasiness, or, or some people get nauseous. I generally, my, my hangover, for the record, is, is just uneasiness and I kind of made not anxiety, not mental anxiety, but I'm just kind of like eh, not at, at ease uh, with my uh, myself. And then it goes away oh, after a few hours and they say time is the only thing that can cure a hangover. But I, I disagree with that because I've been experimenting a little bit. And one of the remedies you'll read, which is partially true, is, is uh, replenish your electrolytes. Um, and I'm starting to believe that the lack or, uh, you know, reduction in your, uh, what do you call it, electrolytes in your body is probably one of the reasons I get what I call a hangover. Um, and they say, oh, drink a Gatorade. And I looked up the nutritional information on a Gatorade and like it, it has some salt, sodium, and it's probably not good salt, it's not sea salt, and potassium, and maybe something else, magnesium. But it's only like 1% of the recommended daily allowance. And that's another thing that, a story for another day, are the recommended daily allowances purposely too low so that people can't uh, fix them. And, I, and I've read, you know, you read scarce stories, like, like for instance with potassium, the, the um, dose is 99 milligrams and I, I believe they they uh, do that so that uh, people don't you can't overdose on it but I've also read some other books that said that the dosage for potassium is way too low so and I've read I think one of my low carb books said instead of taking one uh, 99 gram um, pill a day milligram pill a day uh, take five in the morning or whatever. But I, I started experimenting and I, I, I always go over the dose when, with these vitamins and you do so at your own risk. But um, you know, they, they, they came up with the electrolyte drink to help uh, athletes. I think it was somewhere in Florida, the Florida Gators. That's why it came up. They have the name Gatorade. But I don't think, you know, like the, when you sweat and you're working out, you lose electrolytes through your sweat glands and, and, and so on. The same thing is true about drinking because you're replacing your fluids by urinating and um, that's probably the, the concept behind replacing your electrolytes. But what we started doing and what worked for us is giving our, our, taking our electrolytes but not at these micro doses that like a Gatorade will give you but higher doses. And there's like a whole bunch of um, electrolytes you can see in, in the article. There's magnesium, there's potassium, sodium. Um, 
and then there's phosphorus or phosphate, collate, uh, calcium, and then maybe one or two others. But I focused in on uh, the salt, which is sea salt, because it has about 80 or more, 85 uh, other minerals and electrolytes inside uh, the salt, whereas regular ordinary salt, which is just sodium, is probably um, they stripped all the other minerals out, and we don't uh, we don't know why. We think maybe it's uh, some sort of conspiracy to, to use those sell those other min minerals to other people or other businesses, and magnesium and potassium. I think potassium is one of the the things that's deplen uh, deplenished, <coughs> deplenished, depleted. Um, and this is why I, the, you'll see often like the morning after drink, a Bloody Mary, which is tomato juice and, a, and what do you call those screwdrivers, orange juice and vodka. Uh, but those ingredients have a lot of potassium in them. And that may be part of the reason why uh, people drink them because they make you feel better. So what I did during my drinking, let's say on my Friday night, seven o'clock, I start drinking. First of all, I make sure that, regardless if I'm drinking or not, that every day I take a little mound of sea salt and I lick it. And I just give myself the, the sea salt. Um, and I, I always feel better. I mean, having, being, read the book, Salt Your Way to Health, and then and you'll, you'll understand. But I'll eat a mouthful of salt and during my drink, let's say halfway through drinking, and I haven't sorted it out yet, exactly the method. So this isn't your remedy and that you should try. This is what's been working for me. But since you replenish your fluids all night, I, I'll maybe either start the night or halfway through the night, I'll take a dose of magnesium, potassium, and, and a mouthful of salt. Uh, and then before bed, let's say after my last drink, I'll take another round of potassium, magnesium, and sodium. And then I'll naturally drink water too because it, your body needs hydration to, to put these uh, compounds in motion. But I have to say that after a few weeks of experimenting with adding these electrolytes to my body, not in a small dose, but in an equal or higher than the RDA dose, my hangovers have been almost non-existent. Uh, it's amazing. Maybe I, I, you'll still have that first half hour of grogginess, which is a result of being tired and worn out from uh, the poor night of sleep that drinking alcohol gives you. But I have to say my recovery in the morning, now of course you take these in the morning as well, uh, has been profoundly better. So I think what a lot of people are afraid of is, is going over the dose. And I'm not afraid. I, t I assume all the risk for taking more than anybody tells me to take. I'm experimenting with myself to see what works. And the, these three electrolytes seem to be making a big uh, impact on how I feel uh, the next day after drinking. And of course, there's, like, like you said, a million different variables of uh, your body weight, how much hydration you have, what kind of things you're drinking or eating. But the, the pain I have from, from drinking too much is almost eradicated with the supplementing with the, a good enough amount of electrolytes. So give that a shot if you want. It, do it at your own risk. This is not medical advice, but it certainly worked for me. And Maybe one day I, I can stumble upon a, an honest, uh, blind, uh, controlled study, double-blind study where people, uh, and they did those sorts of mechanical uh, analysis of what's happening. But I think that's, that's, for me, what has been the hangover. And I think replenishing these electrolytes has, has gone a long way um, in helping me. So that's it. You, uh, you, you do it again at your own risk and let me know what you think if you watch the video to the end. Have a good week, day. I, I don't remember when I published these. That's why I say, you know what? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell.